Blake Lively's got a lot to apologize for and she seemingly doesn't want to, especially to that interviewer. Let me explain how Blake Lively refuses to apologize for being rude to an interviewer. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Congrats on your little bump. <laughs> Blake Lively hasn't apologized. According to the entertainment reporter who almost quit her job after a nightmare interview went viral for all the wrong reasons. Hi everyone. Uh, this has been a really crazy week for me. Kirstie Flaw discussed the incident on her YouTube channel very recently. In 2016, the actress publicly complimented Lively on her little bump, only for Lively to coldly respond. Flaw said that it took her a while to actually get over it. Flaw has now disclosed that she is in fertile. It affected me for a while because it made me nervous when I was interviewing other people after that, and I blamed myself for it for a long time because I felt like I did or said something wrong, the celebrity journalist shared. This comes right after her less than stellar press tour for her new movie, It Ends With Us. The interview between Ryan Reynolds and co-star Brandon Splinar for Blake Lively's It Ends With Us marketing was absurd. What are you doing? This isn't Deadpool. Why are you trying to be funny? One of Ryan Reynolds' Instagram followers wrote in response to the video. Fans of Blake, meantime, were baffled as to why there was never a video on her account talking about the concepts shown in the movie, because it's a pretty deep movie. As a result of the continuous debate concerning Blake's subpar marketing, Flaw uploaded a video on YouTube titled The Blake Lively Interview That Made Me Want to Quit My Job. In an interview with ET, Blake talked excitedly about the vintage Britney Spears outfit she wore to the it Ends With Us premiere. Still, when Flaw tried to talk to her about her cafe society attire, she got defensive. Everyone wants to talk about the clothes, but I wonder if they would ask the men about the clothes, said Blake, turning from Flaw to her co-star Parker Posey. That's the reason Flaw waited so long to share a video of the sit-down, which featured Parker Posey, Lively's co-star from Cafe Society. When Flaw posted the horrific interview, she said she hadn't read up on all the other stuff surrounding Lively and her new film, It Ends With Us, and it was just a coincidence. During their conversation, Flaw believed that Lively was displaying mean girl energy, stating that it made her feel left out. She continued by expressing her gratitude to the thousands of people who had reached out to her with supportive notes ever since the sit-down became public. She asserted that Lively is not one of them. No one came out and apologized, and they probably told her, don't come out and say sorry, don't react, don't do anything. We'll take care of this for you. We'll just say that it's the journalist's fault and that you were offended by her, and then we'll just plant some other good, positive stories. Theoretically, Flaw said, I think that's the problem. Flaw feels that many Hollywood A-listers don't own up to their mistakes because they're afraid that it's going to backfire or that it's going to make them look bad, noting it's time to change that. I think if Blake Lively would have come out in front of this, she said, things would have been very different. Blake has, nevertheless, shown that she is capable of expressing regret for her deeds. She regretted her quip about Kate Middleton being away from the public view and confessed that she and Ryan Reynolds made a mistake in their plantation wedding. It seems she might be not apologizing out of pure spite. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and we hope you have a great day. Peace.